Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are at that stage again, and let's talk about some things because there are a lot of things to talk about here in regards to FCS football. We do know that Illinois State, they said, we're not playing anymore this year. And the Missouri Valley Conference handled the situation way better than the SWAC did uh, with Alcorn State. So much better handled. Like, this is why the Missouri Valley Conference is probably the best conference in the FCS right there. You know, they just said, hey, we're just going to not have your games count for anything. There's going to be no contest. We understand, you know. Totally a good idea. I mean, yeah, Illinois State, I think they did win a game this weekend. Or maybe they lost, I'm not sure. But I'll go back and look at the scores here real quick soon. Um, yeah. Second thing is, is um, do, do, pe do people want more FCS football on the actual ESPN networks? Because people have been saying this for years. And, you know... The swag really had to cry about it. Like I'm, I'm interpreting. Like some people are saying the swag bullied ESPN into doing this, but I mean honestly, ESPN just ESPN wanted to suck off Dion. There is no, there is no other reason to put Jackson State on TV each and every week like they have done these past couple of weeks and are going to do for the next couple of weeks as well. Other than to have Deion Sanders on there to give Jay Walker something to do because Jay Walker is not really that good of an announcer, but okay. But yeah, um, yeah. This is really just a ploy to you know get eyes on Deion Sanders and his crew because that's all that's been there is is Jackson State games. That's all that's been there the past few weeks. People have been advocating for more FCS games on the actual ESPN networks for years, and it it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Maybe maybe the conferences are at a little bit of fault here. The other conferences are at a little bit of a fault here. But I mean, some conferences, you know, have teams that have their own TV deals and stuff like that. You know, so uh, I, I I don't understand it. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. But whatever, whatever. Speaking of Jackson State, they did in fact lose this week. They did in fact lose on Saturday uh, to Alabama State. Very close game. Uh, one thing I have noticed about you know the SWAC is the refs are really bad. Like this is on par with Pac-12 refs. Not not really good not really good sign right there. Um, the other one of the other big games this weekend, obviously North Dakota, North Dakota State, North Dakota. They got bulldozed. They got beaten. They got bullied by a two quarterback system out there in the Fargo Dome. So maybe North Dakota State's back on track to go to the playoffs. You know now I still think North Dakota should be you know getting themselves in that position where they could be in. But you never know. Uh, excuse me. But again, yeah, Illinois State did in fact win, and they end their season after beating Western Illinois by eight. Um, Grambling's in a bad position right now. They lost to Arkansas Pine Bluff, which is bizarre. I mean, Arkansas Pine Bluff beat both Southern and Grambling, so stuff is getting interesting in the SWAC. Right now, which is crazy. I mean, again, that hasn't happened since what 2000, where they beat the both. Crazy stuff right there. And trying to find. Oh yes, San Diego. That's right, the Toreros, of San Diego. They are still. They won 39 straight conference games in the Pioneer League. 39 straight. Oh my goodness, and I am going to watch this team next weekend because their game, their game against Presbyterian is going to start early. Thus, that will give me some time before the Sweet 16 to, you know, get some things ready. So, San Diego fans, you have my attention. And it's mostly because your game is very early on Saturday. So, I'll see how in the world I can find that game. Hopefully, I can find that game. Uh, Sam Houston. My goodness, you didn't have to beat up on Lamar like that. Now, 62-7. to 7. Oh, my goodness gracious. Good lordy. 
what a what a rough rough score there for Lamar. Because I mean, man, that was you, you just don't get steamrolled like that anymore. You just don't see stuff like that. <sighs> um. Other things throughout the SDS have been in flux, like the Patriot League has been in flux, um, you know, because they've been rescheduling games left and right. Big South also has been rescheduling games left and right as well, and it's a bit crazy. Um, Jacksonville State, not Jackson State, Jacksonville State, the Gamecocks, they are still winning. They have been putting on a tear. They beat up on Southeast Missouri 21-3 on Sunday, and I mean... I'm glad the Ohio Valley just decided to say, okay, we're just going to have all our games on Sunday for some reason. But, I mean, you know, it's cool. Um, yeah, so there we have it. There is a, again, there is a lot of stuff going on, you know, on this next Saturday here. And, yeah, next Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be very interesting. Um, again, there's going to be a lot of top matchups next week. But I think I'm going to keep my eyes focused on the one game I do want to watch. But we'll talk about all of that um, either Thursday or Friday. I know I said I was going to go over, you know, the uh, March Madness stuff, and I'm not going to do that now. I uh, don't feel like doing that. There, there's no reason to do that. I'll, I'll talk about it, you know, once we get to the Final Four and stuff like that. Maybe, potentially. I don't know. I might. Uh, again, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I might do it tomorrow. Or I might just not even do it at all. But yeah, how did how did you guys feel? I'm glad that there's a couple of new subscribers to the channel as well. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you again. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not. Maybe Friday. Maybe Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. See you then.